namaste welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl i see the god in you <laughs> oh let's get into this timeless reading okay and see what you need to know right now with my spiritual confirmation deck a new door is opening. Your wish fulfillment is granted on the other side. Wow. That's perfect because we have the new moon in Libra. Okay. We also have this, what's this full moon in Scorpio? Yes. So a new door. Whatever you've been wishing, whatever you've been hoping for, whatever you've been praying for. Some of you have been fasting for this. Some of you have been doing prayer manifestations, visualizations. Um, this is letting you know, this is a message that it's happening right now. And I want to say definitely keep your vibe high at this time. What else do we have? Everything you touch turns to gold during the new moon phases. Oh, my goodness, I cannot make this up. <laughs> this deck was created in a real deep spiritual time, okay? So, listen, there is something about you guys actually being in touch with the moon, working with the moon, moon gazing is coming through as well. This is what you need to know right now. Give thanks to the moon. I'm not saying you need to worship it. Some people do. Definitely, this is a time to manifest during the new moon phases. That's when your energy is at its peak. We're going to pull two more cards. Your enemies are going to constantly see you on top of your game. Okay, so we got, um, <laughs> there's a reason why we have this new energy. I'm really feeling like you guys getting out. I feel like you guys don't even care about that. You don't even, it's like enemies. What are enemies? Because if I create my own reality, I created those enemies, right? You're in control of everything, so you don't even really see your enemies as your enemies. You just see them as maybe lost souls that are trying to find themselves. You've already found yourself. Keep your eyes focused on your goals, focus on your dreams, focus on your accomplishments spiritually as well as supernaturally. Now... This one, your person is always thinking of you, of you when they're out with other people. Okay, so yeah, that's why I only pull four from here because there's always a plot twist in my readings. Yeah, for those of you that may have been feeling it's kind of insecure about a situation, about someone, your person could just be in meetings. It's not like, I don't feel that this person is cheating on you you just need to hear this whoever you're thinking of romantically they are on your mind okay we'll get some more into that card but for right now i just kind of want to focus on why is everything that you touch turning to gold and ooh, what's going on during this new little phase let's just see what else you need to know I'm hearing stay focused. I just keep hearing that. Just stay focused. So what is this new door opening? Okay, that's your wish fulfillment. What are you turning to gold? Oh, <laughs> they're a privileged lady. Babe, I'm telling you, there's about to be a major upgrade in your life, period. If you have been wanting to see the other side of life, Let's say you are a privileged lady. Well, then, or a privileged man, okay? This is energy we're talking about. Let's say you are privileged. You're going to experience 
a level up in your spiritual lessons, okay? Your spiritual expansion and vice versa, okay? Let's say you need to, you want, you're looking to level up financially, right? You're also going to be leveling up financially as well as supernaturally, right? There is a connection to the divine that is undeniable. The color white, you're being guided to wear the color white. Some of you love the color white. The number three could be significant. The number 12, some of you could be seeing 333. Yes, there could be a privileged lady or male coming into your life. There is privileged energy. You know, you'll notice that you're running you're able to run stop signs not run them <laughs> when you're when you when you're going through a, a, a light right you're pulling up to it it's red all of a sudden it's green i'm hearing like your access is going to be granted right expectation they're wanting you to expect what you have been looking for so be in be on the lookout you definitely could be seeing signs and synchronicities Okay, this reminds me of the Ace of Wands, right? The Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. What could be any sign? Wow. And now we have a message of concern. So, yeah, there's going to be a message coming through. This could be an, a job offer approval. This could be an invitation. Be open, right? The number 14 could be significant. The number five, there's definitely a major change coming. Fives do represent change. I feel that you're ready for this no matter what it is. You're always ready and you're always in alignment with the universe. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay? And main mail. This was in reverse. <laughs> well, there you go. That's your confirmation right there. Okay? Okay. There is a main male figure and a privileged lady coming into your life. If someone recently left your life and they were crooked and shady, let them go. Let them move on. Don't even worry about that energy. You don't need it. You could do, you could do drama all by yourself. All right? I'm just saying. Let's tap into this energy and see what else do you need to know, okay? Yes, keep your guards up. Keep your guards up, babe. Like, seriously, we have the seven of wands, all right? Like, keep your guards up. <laughs> your enemies are constantly going to see you on top of your game. Why? Because your guards are up. Because you're not sharing everything with them. Because you're not allowing yourself to be in low vibrational frequencies for long periods of time. Obviously, we're going to encounter dark entities, energies, frequencies, right? Stay in your body. Wow. Queen of Wands coming through. Once you do this, the respect that you feel that you deserve, you are going to be able to freely walk in that energy. I've had to do this quite a few times in my life. It's not the easiest thing to do, but when you create boundaries, you definitely gain a lot of respect and you allow your 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 angels your spirit guides right to and your ancestors to protect you right you won this war you went through a lot you've been through a lot this battle is over there is a ton of wands energy so there's a lot of action queen of pentacles here as well so taurus virgo capricorn let me just tell you your pentacles are coming in people are going to be seeing you in a different light some of you could be leveling up with a privileged man a main male who is also privileged a privileged female i'm just saying there's a lot of privilege there's a lot of honor and there is a lot of public recognition this may come after a really difficult time in your life where but hey listen you work for it you own the right to be in this energy and no one can take this no one can take this energy from you it is yours the queen of pentacles is you know honestly i'm getting the vibe uh, people just seeing you as someone who is reliable, someone who does what they say they're going to do. There's still more competition here. I'm really surprised about all of these wands coming through this reading. Like, this is crazy. I'm here all my life. I had to fight. Like, what? <laughs> 
there, there's no more fighting. The war is over. Don't go backwards. People who put you in this five of wands energy, just let them go. I definitely do. I do not. If you're making me think too hard, oh my goodness, I cannot make this up. Do you see this? You are so protected right now. There is, an, listen, and she's wearing white, white hair. I'm just, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you right now. You are protected. You have guards on guards on guards on guards in the supernatural realm. And they're not playing with anyone trying to come for you. I don't know how else to say this. And if you have been going through a tough time, I feel sorry for anyone who has messed with you right now. Anyone who's tried to mess with your frequency, tried to mess with your vibe, tried to mess with your energy, tried to throw you off. You you get this privilege when, when you know that you are sovereign and you do not accept or tolerate disrespect. This comes from a place I'm really hearing is put some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting from this, for real. So, let's just see. I'm going to pull a few more cards. And let's just kind of tap into the person on your mind. How are they feeling about you? Because that clearly, love, love readings are really like, I have a lot of clients and most of them, it's about love. Maybe <laughs> one or two of them is about, you know, their spirituality or business and my personal clients. So love is always going to come through. So collective, let's just tap into this. The person on your mind is always thinking of you when they're out with other people okay let's this one here let's see what this is about what do you need to know how they're feeling yes this person's obsessed with you this person they're not letting you see their lower uh they're not letting you see this they are obsessive over you they obsessively think of you they're extremely attracted to you sexually. they want ownership over you be careful this person could have a huge ego all right i'm just saying <laughs> they are extremely territorial some of you might like that some of you may may like that you let me know if you like that okay because i want to know let's see what else oh someone here is insecure so it could be your insecurities are coming up with this person or this person is feeling like you are insecure or this person could be showing you some red flags that something is going on, but here it's saying they're thinking of you. So I just think this, this is giving me insecurity and issues. Pray to your spirit guides, ask them to show you a for sure sign. You want to know the truth. Can you trust this person? Are they trustworthy? Is this something that they're leaving out? They could be leaving something out. And that is what's making you question them when they're out. So, you know, uh, let me know if you're dating a secret squirrel. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think that they're like extremely secretive, but I do feel that they might be hiding a little something from you. No matter what, you turn this person on and the vibe, the energy, the frequency that you give to them... Ooh, okay, did you hear that? They be all like, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, right? So they just, I don't know, they find you to be really creative, sexy, fun, exciting. They want a passion new beginning with you. If this person was shady in the past or something happened between the two of you here with this Seven of Swords, this person be like, nah, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> You're the only one. You're the only one. I don't know. You let me know, okay? I'm just saying, watch out for this person, but at the same time, wow, have a good time, right? Make sure you get things in writing, especially if you're going to be doing business with this person. All right, so let's see. What does this person want to, to say to you right now? And then we're just going to get some advice i love to get into their head all right let's see what do they want to say to you especially if you've been with this person for a while you guys connect spiritually this is going to be for you if you just met this person and things are lighthearted, 
but you know you got some communication this is going to be for you what do they want to say stalker alert i check up on you often you see i be trying to tell y'all but i don't know if y'all be listening to me this is crazy please unblock me yeah, that's me calling you from an unknown number. All right, what? Okay. If this person isn't already kind of stalking you a little bit, just know that they will be. This is not... That's why they want to know. They, oh, my God. Listen, if you've been feeling insecure, yes, there you go. There you go. If you feel like they're more into you... I mean, you're more into them. They're, they're about to be way more into you. And they're about to show you how much they're into you. <laughs> I hope you're ready for that because you asked for it. Somebody's about to be absolutely crazy over you. I'm just saying, if you feel unsafe, then you know what to do. Let's get one more because this is getting too intense. I effed up. I don't know what to say to you or how to fix this. So, yeah, for some of you, the person on your mind, yeah, they, they effed up. And it could be from them, like, focusing on other things. Maybe you cut them off and you're wondering, are they still thinking about me? How are they feeling? They're thinking about making things right with you no matter what. They're thinking about making things right with you no matter what. There we go. Another confirmation. Let's get some just straight up real time. Pocket Angel messages for advice. Let's get some. Ooh. Let's get some Pocket Angel messages. For advice, let's get some pocket angel messages for advice. Focus on your health. Yes. There you go. Take that yoga class. Take that hot yoga class. Okay. Go to that dance class. Do something exciting. This is also coming through an, as a form of mental health as well. Focusing on things that make you feel good. There we go. This is a lot. My phone doesn't literally blow up like that, okay? I don't know what's going on. So let's just see. The spirit realm is really trying to let you know this is for you. The angels are answering your prayers. Yes. Take that leap of faith and understand that. That was the beginning of the reading. I love how it all comes together at the at the end a new door is opening your wish fulfillment is granted on the other side the angels are answering your prayers that's the wave that's the vibe namaste i'll see you in your next reading until then peace and love